What's going on everyone? Uh, welcome to my first Black Ops 2 sniping video, well, commentary at least. And I picked this gameplay for a reason, it's a bit longer, so I can actually get in deep and drill into what I have to say. But so I'm going to be giving you guys my my initial impressions on this game, and I've put, pumped about 40 hours into it, and I'm almost on to the fourth prestige, and I didn't want to make a video like straight away, like within the first day or two that I've got it. Because I didn't think I could give you guys an accurate representation on any form of opinion. And I feel like it's it's kind of silly when people do that. Because you really can't take something at face value and give someone an opinion because it's really not going to be that relevant. And even... Like, there is some merit to it occasionally, but when it comes to a game like this, you really need to sink many hours into it before you can actually give someone any advice or anything about it. And if anyone like does ask me, is the game any good, I say, I don't know. I haven't played the game enough yet. And I feel like I've, I've kind of pushed that little barrier a little bit. I've, I've kind, kind of got to know this game a little bit. He's a bit of a dickhead occasionally, but most of all, he's all right. Now, this gameplay is a domination on cargo, I think this map is called. I'm going to be using the Diamond DSR 50 and the Diamond Camo. I released a video of it two days ago and... God damn, that grind, I don't know if it's worth it, but the camo is just so sexy. And the reason why I picked this game was so I could just show off a little bit. Um, I don't generally get like really nice scores when using the sniper rifle. And this one was a minor exception. Uh, the thing with Domination is the games go a bit longer than normal, so it's hard to remain consistent. And this was one of those games where I managed to go semi-consistent um, with my games. But anyway, we'll move on to my initial thoughts on this game and if it's good or not and I'll give you guys a short flat out yes um, I really enjoy this game at the moment but there are there are flaws with it I can't say it's good without saying there's a little bit of bad in between and some of these are PC exclusive so I might get them out of the way first and the first of all is the matchmaking it was kind of pissed I missed that no scope just then uh, the matchmaking for me at least um, as, I, as I say this there is a patch on the way but currently in this first like five or six days of the game, um, finding games with a good connection is really, really hard. And you kind of value the lobby you find once you find it. And that also annoyed me just then, but I'm not going to do that the whole game. Um, you, you kind of value highly a lobby with a four bar. And you stay there in there longer than you can normally handle. Uh, just because you know it's going to be a pain in the ass to try and find another one. Uh, but once you do find that lobby, you generally do have a pretty good time. And I find myself really hating on this game when I go poorly. And when I first picked this game up, I did get it three days late. And I've since almost hit, hit fourth prestige in three days. But anyway, double XP will do that to you. You have to grind that shit out. Um, <laughs> completely lost my train of thought. Yeah, but when I first got this out of the box and plugged it in, installed it and all that good stuff, um, I was about level 70 and I was like thinking to myself, fucking hell, this game, it's sucking dick. But meanwhile, I was going like... 8 for 20 and scores like that and once I started picking up some momentum and getting some nicer scores I realised this game is really nice and it's kind of unfortunate that I can't enjoy this game anymore if I don't like go well and by well I don't mean like 40 and 5 every game but I mean like just decent like not getting absolutely molested in my spawn um, and just really stupid deaths but that's besides the point um, this game is fairly polished and on my computer at least, a lot of you guys will have console if you are playing this game. Um, but I've noticed it is very smooth with the gameplay, as well as the graphics being up there. You'll see a few jitters throughout this gameplay, but that's my fraps. Um, not really the game's fault for that at all. And um, I'm actually recording this off theater mode, so... If any of the kills look a bit strange, like how the fuck did that even hit? Uh, blame theater mode, it's um, unfortunate, but... Uh, the lag compensation within the game kind of... Uh, doesn't show when it's live, but once you play it through theater mode, it really does show how weird this game plays uh, when you take that element out. And I'm going to talk about a few things on how you could probably enjoy this game more if you're not enjoying it currently. And I've seen forum th posts where people are just really hating on the game, and a lot of them uh, like are really have no merit at all. But there are some people who just go on absolute like pisshead rants about how bad the lag compensation and stuff is. And don't get me wrong, it is frustrating, but you've got to understand, this game, it connects people across the world, and even if it is semi-local, there's going to be lag involved, and I've got a nice little streak here, 
uh, to win this first round on the domination. Um, but I feel like if you're unaware of these problems, they don't affect you. If you've played Call of Duty since Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare 2, uh, when I started at least, and you didn't have a clue um, what the fuck lag compensation even was, when you come to a game like this, you don't even know it exists and you don't complain about it. And it's, uh, it's kind of unfortunate when you get shot around corners, that is kind of bullshit. Um, but I feel like people are kind of aware of the problems within this game. And that kind of highlights negativity and that really just manifests itself. Uh, makes it a lot more of a negative experience than it should be. And a lot of people really fail to push past it and actually divert their attention away from the negativity. And actually focus on the game. And I feel like if anyone is, this, is giving this game a bad rap, uh, there's going to be multiple reasons. They might not like the Call of Duty franchise in general for FPSs. Um, or they're just blatantly not going well and then just frustrated by the game and they haven't put enough time in it, into it to get good at it. Uh, and Call of Duty is one of those games where you really need to sink your teeth in it before you can really, really begin to appreciate it. Um, if, you, if you pick this game up, and this is your first ever game of Call of Duty, and, just, and you're going 5 and 20 every game, you're really going to fucking have a bad time. But once you develop uh, your skills and actually kind of push through the learning curve, it actually gets really fun. And that's why you see a lot of people playing it today. I've been playing it for a while. And that's, there's a reason why people are dedicated to this game. It's because once you push through that barrier, that barrier of bullshit that seems to just always be in, be in every title, um, you generally have a, a fairly positive experience with this game. And that's what a, leap, a lot of people really just don't get past. And they just stay back and they kind of uh, just manifest it on the negativity. And what helps... Uh, improves the positive experience is hanging out with people um, whether either team speak or party chat or whatever hanging out with people that aren't mentally retarded and don't whinge every time they die um, but anyway my fraps just went all weird so I apologize about that black screen but uh, I didn't realize that would happen hopefully the render doesn't pick it up but yeah if you're playing with people who aren't completely yelling BS every time they die you're probably gonna have a better time than you will if you're playing with people who are just complaining all day, and I really, I really do struggle with uh, kind of that accuracy, horrendous. But I really do struggle to block out some of it sometimes. But when that happens, I just switch up my my kit, run an SMG, and um, it's generally easy mode from there. And I really want to touch base on that. Um, the initial, like my initial opinions on the guns and stuff before any patches are let out. Um, I feel like the SMGs have a really powerful presence in this game, and that's a bit unfortunate. Um, they really are a cocktail for success uh, between the high fire rate, like ridiculous fire rate, low recoil, massive magazines, and insane hip fire spreads. Um, those things are just fucking molesting every, every time you used one, and you really don't need to aim very much. Um, the only SMGs I've really used are the Vector, the, the PDW57, I think it's called, and the MP7. The MP7, to be fair, isn't as annoying as it was in Modern Warfare 3, but it still does have a fairly annoying presence and this may be irrelevant but I think every gun <laughs> at least the SMGs if you chuck a silencer on them they sound ridiculous um, I don't know but speaking of SMGs what I might do is chuck a little bonus streak I got at the end um, or at the start of a game but I will chuck it on the end of uh, this video here and I'll give you guys a bit of a demonstration on why I don't like the SMGs I mean I got a nice little kill streak at the start of the game but that's really a a fairly accurate res representation on what does go on when I don't get shot from the back um, and I'm in control of the situation. Um, whenever I feel like I'm being shot like beyond my power, that's when I really do get frustrated. But the start of the games generally don't have too much of that because the spawning really hasn't been uh, fucked up too much and your teammates haven't really pushed into the spawn to flip it. Uh, but yeah, you guys will see that at the end. And I just really want to highlight that I feel like the SMGs are actually way too powerful in this game, um, but that's just my initial opinion, and I have been sniping a lot. Uh, out of my first 1,000 kills I got in this game, 730 of, what, 739 of them were, were from this gun, the DS50, DSR50, and I shit you not, um, that's exactly the statistic, I'm not exaggerating or anything. Um, so yeah, I basically all I do in this game is predominantly snipe. Unless I feel like I'm doing bad, but the reason why I do snipe as opposed to use something like an SMG or, or an assault rifle straight off the bat is because I really do enjoy the challenging aspect of it. 
Um, I don't, like, if I went 45 and 8 with an assault rifle, I wouldn't have any sense of accomplishment. But if you do it with a sniper rifle, you feel like, I don't know, you've done something well, and it's a nice little three-piece like that. But little elements throughout the game just made this uh, a lot more fun, uh, especially when you're using the sniper rifle. And I feel like uh, if you're experienced with this game and you're fairly good with the mechanics, definitely give the snipers a go. Definitely very rewarding. But this gameplay is up for now. I'm um, really enjoying the game so far, guys. But uh, I'll give you guys some more sniping in the future. But enjoy the bonus clip, guys. Have a good one. Capture the objective. Strike awaiting coordinates. He's gone. UAV awaiting orders. He's gone. Hunter killer drone ready for deployment. Lightning strike awaiting coordinates. 